Hey there boys and girls, it's me Aiden, and joining me today as always is Skateboarder Dude and he is particularly excited about what we are building today because today we are going to be building a Terrasail. Isn't this so cool? Some of them are also known as wind surfers and what they essentially can do is they harness the power of wind in order to drive just like this. So get your kits out, get them ready and we are going to jump in. All you're going to need for this one is this from your teachers or from us. And, and let's get straight into it. All right, so boys and girls, before we get into anything, let's quickly see what comes inside our kits. So first things first is a 10 by 20 centimeter cardboard base. This you're gonna use to get creative a little bit later. More on that when we get there. You're gonna have three cardboard profiles that look like this. There should be three. Some of you will have these stuck together. You're just gonna break them apart. Be very careful not to rip them. And that makes three of them. We've also got four elastic bands, really, really nice. Make sure you don't lose any of these. You're going to use these in assembling the wheel a little bit later. Then we're going to have eight wheel discs. They look like this. There should be eight of them. Make sure you don't lose any of those as well. Then we've got our wheel strip. And so this will actually act as our tire. And in the wheel video, you will see more on that when we get there. We're going to have six skewers. These are bamboo skewers, nice and strong. We're going to cut them a little bit later. We're also going to have 10 centimeters of PVC piping, which is this guy over here. Really, really nice stuff. We've also got some curious gum for you guys, which is pretty much like Prestec, except it's, uh, it's industrial grade, which means it doesn't get cold when it's, uh, it doesn't get hard when it's cold and doesn't get soft when it's warm. You're also going to have three and a half milliliters of wood glue, very, very handy. And then last and certainly not least, we're going to have three pieces of paper for you guys to use as your sails. So make sure you keep those to the side. Things that you're going to need just to, to help you along is a set or a pair of scissors such as this. It's very helpful to, to, to um, a little bit later in cutting everything. And if you have a ruler, that is always good to have on hand, as well as maybe a pencil or a pen to make markings a little bit later. All right, so you guys can head on over to our wheel making video so that you guys can see how to get that done. And then we'll come back to this one uh, when you are done with that. So for this first step of building your terrace well, you will need your three profiles, your PVC pipe, all right, boys and girls, so let's get into building our terrasail. For this first step, all that you'll need is your base profile, your side profile, and your other side profile, as well as your wood glue. So for now, you can put your base profile to the side. You only need one of your side profiles, and we're going to be applying some glue so that we, we can attach it to our base profile. So simply draw a, a line uh, going with these gaps. Between them you want to fill with a little bit of glue, not applying too much because um, that could create a bit of an, of an overflow and it could look, start looking unneat. You just want to apply a little bit in a straight line and that's perfect. Doing the same over here as well. And then some at the end on both sides. Well, I'm having a little bit too much here, that's okay though. And then what you're going to do is just add a little bit in the edges but not too much and that it blocks the hole. Just enough that the other piece has something to grab onto when you attach it. Just like that. That's just that's just enough. You can dab it a little bit. That works fine. There we go. Just a little bit in the edges. Now, when wood glue dries, it dries clear. And so, if you can see a little bit when you attach your pieces together, that's not a problem. We'll need to knit up as much as we can, but that's really okay. So make sure that when you're done with using your wood glue, you plug it up again. Otherwise, it is going to go dry. And so, let's take our base plate. And we're going to attach it to our, our side profile, making sure that the slots are going in nicely, like so. Might need to pinch it just a little bit to give it a little bit less of, a, of an area. That's okay too. Let's put it in, just like that. And then the middle one goes in nicely. And the last one, sorted. So now our side profile is on our base plate, which is exactly what we're wanting. We're going to give it a little bit of a wipe like, like this, just to neaten it up. Run your finger down along the side. Wood glue is not harmful to you, so don't worry. Um, I just wouldn't recommend getting it on your clothing. Your mom might not, might not be very happy. So we're going, to do, we're going to put this aside for now, giving that a little bit of time to dry. And then we're going to attach our glue to our other side profile in the same way. A little bit of glue in a straight line, or oh, that's a bit much. 
he actually takes him across here. There's a little bit too much there. That's okay there. And we're going to just draw a line like so. And at the bottom. And then you can remember to add a little bit more inside the, the holes just to give it something to bite onto. Just like that, that's good. Both sides. And there we go. Now we've got some glue on our entire side profile. Remember to just plug up your wood glue. You wouldn't want it to dry now. There we go. We're going to grab our current uh, our base plate and side, side profile. Doing the same thing, just pinching it ever so slightly to give it a bit more work, wiggle room, just like that. And then we're going to attach it in. Just like that, and in the middle. There we go, now both of our side profiles are on. Just pinch them together a little bit, and that should be perfect. Like I said, you can just put this flat on the table and just wipe it off to make the wood glue a little bit neater. Sorted. And that is your base plate. It is ready to have the axles and wheels added to it. I would recommend leaving this to dry for about 10 to 15 minutes, making sure that it's nice and firm and ready to have the, the wheels and axles added to it. Alright boys and girls, so for this next step, you are going to need two of your skewers and ready to go for this next step, as well as your PVC pipe and a pair of scissors. So what you can do is take one of your um, bamboo pipes, grab a ruler, or in my case I can use my board, but I'm just going to use the ruler to show you how it's done. Measure out 14 centimeters. get your pencil or pen and you can make a little mark of 14 centimeters on one of your skewers, so that's 12. Over here, we want it there at 14. There you go, now I've got a nice mark. And we're going to do the same thing on the other skewer at 14. There we go. We're going to put our ruler aside for now. Grab your scissors, and then all you have to do is very carefully open your scissors and then twist your skewer on the mark in uh, between the blades. What this will do is it will create a little ridge that you can then very easily snap the, the skewer and then you've got a specifically uh, or a, a skewer at the length that you want it. And you can literally just snap it like so. That's good. Good to go. You can do the same thing with the other skewer. Just run it along the, between the blades twisting the skewer every now and then and then you can just snap it easy peasy pudding and pie so the purpose of this is these are going to be our axles they're going to run this way through our our um, terrace sail the next thing we're going to do is take our PVC piping and we're going to measure out one centimeter one centimeter just use your finger to make a mark and then carefully very carefully watch your fingers cut one centimeter of the tubes watch it's going to go flying make sure that you know where it goes and you can catch it you're going to do the same thing a few times let's measure one centimeter and there it goes oh went went again that's all right let's actually do this the other way around so now we're going to measure one centimeter and that should be good watch your fingers there you go that doesn't go flying as much and you're going to do this for the last one as well Measure one centimeter, that's good. There, there we go. And then we're going to do the same thing, except this time a little bit shorter. We're going to do half a centimeter. And I'm not going to put my finger there instead. I'm actually going to just mark this time. And then I don't know where it is. There we go. Awesome stuff. And then you can just clip those half a centimeter long parts of the tube. These are going to go very fast. Make sure that you know where they're going. Cut. Watch your fingers with this one, boys and girls. You don't want to hurt yourself. There we go. I've now got one, two, three, and four. 
There we go. So you are now going to take your wheels, which you should have made using our one of our other videos on the YouTube channel. Take your skewer and put one of the one centimeter PVC pipes onto the end of it. Like so. Leaving about two centimeters um, at the end, which is what I've managed to get there. And then you're gonna put that side through the side of the, or, or this end of the skewer, through the side of the wheel where it is flat and flush. Make sure that this side is on the outside and this is on the inside. And simply run your skewer through. Take one of your five millimeter um, PVC pipes and put it on the end so that doesn't wiggle around. That's good. There we go, it shoots it nice and flush. You can push it up a little bit and it's all the way to the end of my skewer. You can put that to the side, we're gonna do exactly the same thing except now with one of the other wheels. We're gonna need a little bit of space on the end, maybe about two centimeters for now. Put it on the flat side of the wheel, grab one of your, your short PVC pipings, put it through and that should be good. Make sure it's nice and tight on the wheel. Then here is the important part. We're gonna take our our um, constructed profiles and we're going to look at the side where the two holes are so you can see it's there and down there and put that facing upright and then all you're going to do is feed your skewer through the holes making sure to get all the way through just like that and do the same for the other one through the hole and into the other one as well then you're going to grab your one centimeter PVC piping and you're going to put it on the end. And here is the trick. This you don't want to be too tight. We are going to put it close, but not all the way. It's being a little bit stubborn. Down there we go. And now it's sitting nice and nice and flush, leaving about one or two millimeters between the profile and the PVC piping just to make sure that it can spin quite easily. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing with the other wheel, making sure that the flat side is on the inside of our, our terrasail, and then we're going to take a 5mm PVC piping and put it on the outside of our skewer to make sure that the wheel doesn't fall off. I'm going to do the same thing, just putting it sideways. There we go. And it's nice and flush. We'll do the same thing with the other with the other skewer. So now we're going to do the back wheel as well. The front one is now done. Let's grab these guys over here. All sorts of there. Then we're going to put our wheel on the on the on the last bit of the axle with the flat bit facing inward of the terrasail. Let's try that again. Next, we are going to take our one centimeter PVC piping and put it on the axle on the other end just to finish it off. Put it down like this and just run it down with your fingers. Again, not making this too tight, but just a little bit tense. See here, I've made it too tight, the wheel won't even turn. So here you have to put it out a little bit, and then it should be good. There we go. All right, there's a little bit looser, fits nicely there. Then you're gonna put the wheel on the axle with the flat bit facing inside, and finish it off with your five millimeter PVC piping just so that the wheel doesn't fall off and we're sorted. That is it for the terrace sail, or at least up until this point. From here on, creating a sail is up to you. I'm gonna show you some examples in a second, but here you have to use the, the, the rest of your skewers, so whether, whether it's the cutoffs or the full skewers, or whether you are gonna use uh, the cardboard base that we gave you. And then your sails themselves will be the paper cardboard that we gave you. So you can cut these into triangles, you can leave them as they are, cut them into ovular shapes if that's what you're wanting. You can get creative. We've also given you some curious gum to use. So if you want to use some curious gum to fix everything in, that is also a good idea. And of course your leftover wood glue is also for you to use. Anything that comes in the kit you can use if you want to add stuff by drawing on it um, or, or use some other stationery that's really up to you. From this point on, it's up to how creative you can be. So boys and girls, here is an example of something you can do 
with the rest of your cardboard is attaching it into something like this but really this part is completely up to you um, get creative with how you can keep your terrasseurs up so all that all that we then did was we added some uh, sticks on the on the sides like so let me show you nice and close there we go and then just added our paper. Now this is extremely simple and this is rather uncreative. So we encourage you and I would encourage you to really try get creative with this one. Um, try to do something cool, try to do different shapes. If you wanna use two, maybe this part is cut or you wanna have a triangle or a diamond, it's really up to you. Get carried away, get creative and stay curious. Thanks guys, bye bye. This here, boys and girls, is an example of what we did. It's very, very simple. We attached um, some cardboard here in the middle, and then we attached two of our skewers with some paper. Now, this is very simple. You guys can get creative and really have some fun. So come up with something awesome if you want to cut triangles or rectangles, or if you want to make it into two sails, or if you want to have a third sail using your, your three pieces of cardboard, it's really up to you. So stay creative, stay curious, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.